Have you ever wondered what kind of person wants to become a radiologist? Sitting in a dark reading room all day, glaring at a large monitor? Let me show you the 5 types of people that you frequently see in radiology departments. One common type of radiologist is a tech-loving nerd, used in a positive sense here, probably loving physics and then you get to play around with large-scale magnets known as MRI machines and X-rays. If that's not cool enough, you still have your workstation, a high-end PC with lots of RAM and a good graphics card. That's nice. Have I mentioned the extra large monitor already? Sometimes you even get two. The next person is probably what most suspect radiologists to be like. The socially awkward, somebody who doesn't like people, especially patients. Sitting in front of a PC, talking to a machine, looking at radiographs and MRI scans instead of real patients, that sounds fantastic. A quote from one of my favorite books, House of God, watch these hands, they have never touched a patient. Although that quote refers to another no patient contact specialty, psychiatry. Then we have the money seeker. They are very smart people, frequently the best their medical schools has to offer. When deciding on a career, they choose the specialty with the highest salary. While this was radiology in the past, this is probably not true anymore and will certainly not be so in the future. The rise of artificial intelligence will be a tough competitor that never sleeps, never gets tired and does more work for less, in about 100 years. Many radiologists were clinicians before they converted to radiology, real surgeons or cardiologists. At some time, during their career or training, they face either an obstacle or just realize that radiology is actually much more fun than their own specialty, for that reasons mentioned before. Whatever their intention, typically they bring a new perspective and hands-on experience with real clinical scenarios and patients, which the other types lack of. Last we have the not ready for emergency medicine people. They don't fall into the other categories and their motivation to become a radiologist is the realization, most often during their first encounter with the emergency department, that the stress of acute medical problems is just too much. So they choose one of the no patient contact specialties like radiology. If you are a radiologist, in which category do you fall? Or which category was not listed here? Please comment below and by the way, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.